Hello. So, if you're new to my channel, I make videos about Irish folklore mostly. A lot of it's storytelling, some of it's analysis, but that's not what I'm doing right at the moment. At the moment, we're going to be talking about this. We're talking about this, because we're doing a new thing that I'm going to call The Cyclops Chronicles. Because I'm a parody of myself. I have a rare eye disease called keratoconus that affects my right eye, which is why I am wearing an eye patch. And what the Cyclops Chronicles is about is talking about keratoconus and what it's like having keratoconus. Because most of the videos on this platform about it are from opticians claiming they can cure it. I'm about to film two keratoconus videos, and the first one is common questions I get about my eye patch. So question the first, does the eye hurt? No, no, it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, occasionally it gets a little bit dry. That can cause a little bit of pain, but I've got eye drops for that. There is a thing that can happen when you have keratoconus called corneal eye drops, which is where the layers in your cornea break because they've become so distended and the fluids from different parts of your eyes start to mix. Apparently that's quite painful. Luckily it hasn't happened to me yet. Second question, what happened? I have an eye disease called keratoconus. What it does is it causes the front of my eye to become shaped like a cone instead of a sphere and that means the light entering my eyeball is all refracted in all the wrong directions and that kind of thing and makes everything blurry. Will it get better? Nope. 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 There is no cure. There are various treatments that can stop it getting worse. Occasionally, some of them sometimes improve vision, but no, it won't get better. Can anything be done about it? As I said, there's various treatments that can prevent it getting worse. However, mine is already at the point where I'm having to do this, so most of those would be pointless for me. The treatments include things like various kinds of contact lenses that are supposed to help correct or stabilize the shape of the eye. Uh, there's plastic implants you can get called intacts. There is there's corneal crosslinking, which is when they inject collagen into the eye. But all of these things, they really just prevent it getting worse. Unless you're at a very early stage in keratoconus where some of the contact lenses can kind of just smush the eye back into shape, but I'm far too advanced for that, it won't work for me. Do you still have your eye? Yep, 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 it's, it's, it's right there, you can see it. It just doesn't work. Why do you need the patch? It's because I'm partially sighted in this eye, not entirely blind. What that means is that my... I get vision in this eye, but it's mostly not very useful. The right eye is also my dominant eye, because you have dominant eyes, it turns out. You spend most of your life looking through the world through one eye, and then whenever you need to be doing things like tracking motion, and you need proper depth perception, that kind of thing, the other eye kicks in, and they both start working together. Which is something I've been noticing now, because if I stay still for a long time and I'm not wearing my eye patch, I start seeing just through this eye, and everything's really blurry, until someone walks past or something like that, and then instantly, this eye kicks back in, and I can see clearly. Don't move! You can't see us if we don't move. The, uh, the other problem is that your brain is constantly trying to compensate for the bad eye, so it'll take information from the good eye and then kind of reconstruct what the bad eye is seeing using that, and that takes a lot of energy. Uh, you, can, you can feel it happening, you can feel it draining energy out of you, and that was leading to fatigue, I was getting really, really bad migraines. I uh, get dizzy, and I have trouble reading computer screens if I'm not wearing my eye patch. So that they're, they're all the reasons why I need a patch. Wearing the eye patch has... it completely stops the fatigue, 
it stops the headaches, it makes computer screens easier to read, it makes my vision consistent. Where did you get the patch? I made it! So far I have made four eye patches for myself. Uh, one of them is very much a costume patch, um, but I'm planning on making more, just, just for me, just because I like it. Uh, they're all going to feature in a video I have planned that I completely ripped off the premise of from Rachel Maxey, but I'm sure she won't mind. Can I pray for you? Okay, this is an interesting one, bear with me. See, the thing is, different people have different views of their deities. Now, I have some religious friends who I've talked about their view of their deity with extensively, and they, their view is very nice. They're, the way they see their deity is as a very... is as a person that I would consider to be a, a good, solid person. But there are some people who view their deities in a way that is... fascist. And I can't tell the difference between those people just on the street. I can't tell by looking at someone whether they would believe in a good god or a fascist god. So, no. If I don't know you, no. Oh, the last question, which is actually my favourite, and I exclusively get from children, which is lovely. Did you know that that's what pirates wear? And I like this one. I like this one because, you know, adults, I get snide pirate comments from adults quite a bit but children children there's no malice there's no fucking mockery in it at all it's just this is cool i like this and also i know a thing and i would like to share the thing that i know because i'm excited about knowing things because i'm a small child and that's endearing that's lovely i work in tourism <laughs> So, I see children a lot, and they, they, they're always actually very respectful. They're so much more respectful than adults. I, I, I love getting questions about it from children. I mostly hate it from adults, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, some adults are respectful about it, and that's fine. I don't mind them asking questions, but most adults are shit. But yeah, those are the, the nine most common questions I get asked about my iPad. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna film it immediately. I'm gonna film it right now. I don't know when, how far apart I'll be doing these uploads. But the next one will be the stupidest questions I get. So, so look forward to that. That one will be fun, I think. Ugh.